Do you want to apply hardal technology in foods? The intelligent way is the key. In this video, I am going to explain what intelligence we need to have to attack the microbes by retaining desired sensory and nutrients. You should watch my earlier video on the basic understanding of the hardal technology in foods. We can start with one example. We were developing a low fat and low sugar sweet. We reduced sugars and fat half of the original. The result was mold growth within a few days. While it took three weeks in the case of original sweet, you can see photos of the molds on the screen. In addition, sensory perception of the formulated low fat and low sugar sweet was very poor. Therefore, if we want to reduce or add the ingredients and other hurdles, we need to apply in an intelligent way. Only then we could have microbial safety and desired sensory characteristics. In addition, intelligence could provide us what are the possible incidences that could result in the product. An intelligent way of hurdle technology means we need to understand a few fundamental aspects of microbial behaviors in food in response to define applied stresses. Only then we could relate these fundamentals in solving our food preservation problems. In this video, I will explain mainly the concept and in the next video, I will explain how to apply this concept in different foods. First, it is important to understand how stress could affect the microbial cell. What are the attacks? The stress could affect in four ways. First, at the extreme stress, the cell could be dead, that is, we achieved sterilization. Second, the cell could be at lag phase, that is, no growth. At this stage, the stress prevents the cell reproduction. Third, the cell could be in suffocation, that is, stress inhibits membrane transport due to the cell wall damage. Fourth, the cell could be in starvation, that is, stress interrupts cell metabolism. It is also important to know how microflora compete with each other. They compete with each other to secure nutrients, attachment sites, and could alter the growing environment. These competing dynamics could be synergistic or antagonistic to food preservation. We could visualize this considering an environment for bacterial growth. Two types of bacteria could compete for the site they could compete for nutrients. In addition, A is an active bacteria and it can change the environmental conditions. This could affect the neighboring bacteria B by accelerating their growth or bacterium A could be detrimental to the growth of bacteria D. We could discuss it with examples. pH of an environment decreases when lactic acid bacteria grow. Therefore, lowering the pH protects the growth of pathogens. In addition, lactic acid bacteria could produce antibacterial compounds such as nicin. This dynamic could bring synergy to food preservation. Another example, growth of aerobic bacteria reduces the atmospheric oxygen and this could help the growth of anaerobic. For example, colostridium growth in cooked chill foods if proper protective hurdles are not in place. The dynamics could bring antagonistic conditions to food preservation.
we need to understand what would happen to the microbial cell in a hostile environment that is homeostasis metabolic exhaust and stress reactions homeostasis is the tendency to uniformity or stability in the normal status of microorganisms for instance the maintenance of a defined ph within narrow limits is a prerequisite of living organisms if homeostasis that is internal equilibrium is disturbed by stress or hurdle they are unable to multiply they remain in the lag phase or even die before their homeostasis is reestablished or repaired metabolic exhaust of microorganisms could lead uh, to an autoestabilization that is number of bacteria decreases with the storage time instead of their growth the adaptation of microorganisms to stress during processing leads to a potential hazard some bacteria become more virulent under stress and they generate stress shock proteins hardel technology needs to be used in such a way that it could avoid producing stress shock proteins otherwise a question of safety will arise we could explain metabolic exhaust with an example liver sauces was adjusted to low water activity by adding salt and fat it was inoculated with colostrum sporogens sauces was mildly heated to 95 degree c at its core temperature and stored at 37 degree c during storage it was observed that bacteria survived during heat treatment vanished during storage this phenomenon of declining bacteria instead of growth is termed as autosterilization we need to understand the microbial behavior when they are injured by stress or hurdle let's take one example we apply stress on a healthy cell it could be injured at different levels depending on the intensity of the stress it is marked as l means low injured m means medium injured h means high injured at this injured level over time all cells could reverse to the healthy state it is called stress repair it is now clear that we should not leave these cells due to the risk of their potential growth we need to kill them we need to apply low stress for low injured cell medium stress for medium injured cell and high stress for the high injured cell because a stress level could induce the cells to open all their protection mechanisms we need to know what the protection mechanisms are similarly injured level depends on the strength of the cell against the stress or hurdle stronger injured cells need higher level stress to kill whereas weaker injured cell needs lower level of stress to kill in the forthcoming videos i'll provide few applications of hardel technology in different foods and their mechanisms of action thank you